So basically for pediatric patients, uh, at the moment for patients who don't have any siblings, we're thinking that the toxicity uh, running transplantation for patients who have a much unrelated donor is really low. And then for those patients below 20, we can say that uh, transplantations up front without any immunosuppression before uh, might be a solution because those patients might then not be uh, exposed to high risk of prolonged neutropenia and it might be transplanted quickly. So then for patients who are older than 40 years of age with a plastic anemia, uh, at the moment we are really thinking that transplantations was highly toxic and we are proposing to those patients, even if a sibling is available, a treatment by the association of forced ITG and cyclosporin. And what is coming now from uh, essentially uh, the use of new regimen, conditioning regimen, including CAMPAS, that is an anti-CD52 uh, monoclonal antibody, we are observing a reduced toxicity and patients who were, until now, not uh, eligible for transplantations are showing good results. And again, this is mainly showed by our colleagues from UK that are using largely CAMPAS and that has been shown to reduce highly toxicity. And finally, l is a, 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 a new molecules in the field that have been developed in refractory patients, uh, mainly by our NIH colleagues, and um, uh, who showed extremely good results in patients who were refractory to all treatment. And basically, in those patients where transfusions hospitalizations were common, we have about uh, one patient out of two that are not hospitalized anywhere anymore and have transfusion free. So the drugs is now progressing and there is a very nice study from NIH, first line, uh, that showed a phase two trial that showed that uh, cyclosporin plus horse ATG and l thrombopag is reaching outstanding response rates. Normally, we're expecting the association or CTG plus cyclosporine being about 60% response rate. With these associations, it's about 90%. And so at the moment, there is a randomized trial at the European level that uh, Antonio Brizitano and I are leading uh, that is comparing the standard harm, or CTG plus cyclosporine, with or CTG cyclosporine and L-traumopag. And there's a lot of excitement. Uh, around this study because, uh, and, and, and it's working very well because we have about 130 patients that are already in outside 200. And basically, it could be as a new standard treatment for patients with a plastic anemia using immunosuppression.